In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to cover the fundamentals of how the Follow Me tool works. And the Follow Me tool is located below the Push-Pull tool on the large tool set. And it's really a very similar idea. So we're going to be extruding something into 3D. But instead of just following one axis or another, what it does is follows a path, a line that you've defined. What I have on my screen right now is a very, very basic shape. Uh, just to illustrate how you can add detail to something just by following the edges. So with this particular object, it might be the case that I wanted to add a little bit of detail up at the top. You know, this would come in very handy if you're thinking about adding baseboard, um, crown molding, you know, anything like that. That's kind of the idea here, although there's many applications. What you need to have for the Follow Me tool is a profile. This could be as ornate or as simple as you wanted it to be. And maybe what I'll do is just use my line tool and create something very simple up at the top. So I'm going to snap to that corner. I'm just going to come out and make something that's maybe three inches out. And then I'll come down one inch, back in one, down three, in one, down one and back in one again. So it's really nothing special, but it would be that idea of, you know, a piece of molding or something like that. Now that we have the profile, what we can do is grab the follow me tool. So I'm going to grab the follow me tool and what I need to do first is select the face that I want to extrude. Well, that's going to be this cheesy little profile that I just made here. And once I have that, you'll see that it wants to follow along this line. So I can just let my mouse ride along that edge and I can carefully turn the corner. And notice when I do that, it creates a very nice mitered corner there. It doesn't just kind of lob it off or do anything like that. It does all that hard work for you. So I can just spin around and keep going making my way around that edge and see it would actually let me follow it down if I wanted to if I wanted to go down that way I'm just wanting to go around the top right now so it lets you pick whatever continuous edge you want click the end point and it closes it off really nicely for you so that's using the follow me tool and it will follow along any continuous line now let's say I wanted to do the same thing going around my object here. Okay, well maybe this time instead of creating something with all those little notches, I'll just grab an arc, snap it to that corner, I'll come down maybe six inches, and I'll just come out maybe two. So let's create a very simple little profile there. Then I'll grab the follow me tool pick my face and start pulling it along these edges. But what's going to happen when I get here? If I wanted to stop here, this would be fine. But if I want to keep going around my object, it's going to stop. I would be able to go up the side of this face here if that's something I wanted to do, and that might be fine. But I'm going to get stuck here. So I'm just going to hit the escape key. That'll still leave my face there. What I would need to do is actually come in with my line tool and connect the dots, if you will. That's something I could have done when I extruded this, but in any case, I can simply come in, connect those two points here, and now when I use the follow me tool, it should go smoothly around without too much trouble. So I'll click that face, and I'll pull it along this way and around the corner. There we go, and I'll click where I started. Every once in a while you lose it, there we go. And now I have that nice smoothed off corner going all the way around. So the important thing is to create the profile and then make sure you have the line work in place so that you can do a nice smooth follow through.